Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I want to start a new topic today, and that's just about what functions are. Um, we've been dealing with functions. This really is nothing new except for some notation. Um, and I'll explain to you guys why it's happening. My goal is to keep this really short today. Okay, so what is a function? Um, a function is a relationship, a relation between two sets of numbers. Okay, um, we generally call these inputs and outputs between inputs and outputs, okay? Um, the classic trope is to view this as a machine, that you put inputs into the machine, some stuff happens, and outputs come out of the machine. Um, we generally classify our inputs as X and our outputs as Y, okay? So, believe it or not, if I said this, y is equal to 2x plus 5, which is something we've been doing, oh my god, to death for like three months now, right? We've been calling this an equation. We've been saying this is y is equal to 2x plus 5. But really, 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 this is a function. Um, now, I'll tell you what the difference is in a second. But... Um, this is a function. We were plugging in x's and we were getting out y's, right? And what do we do? We made ourselves a little table of values, right? We said, well, if x equals this, then uh, we can say y is equal to 2x plus 5, and we were getting out y's, right? So we could pick some numbers, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and right, and I could plug those in for x. 2 times 0 plus 5. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. I can plug in 1. 2 times 1 plus 5. Well, 2 times 1 was 2. Plus 5 was 7. Y is equal to 2 times 2. Where I can just keep plugging in these numbers, right? And I will get, again, what you would start to notice as a pattern, right? 5, 7, 9, right? Plus 2, plus 2, Plus two, right? Um, and again, so we haven't been calling them functions, but they are functions, okay? So it's just a relationship between inputs and outputs. The only thing I really want to talk about today is some of the notation that's going to change. We are not going to call this y anymore, okay? And we are not going to call this, uh, we also call it x, but we're not going to call this y anymore. All that's going to change, really, is that we're going to call this f of x, or h of x, or g of x. Okay. Why, 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 why? Why does it never work? Okay. We're going to start calling this f of x. f of x. f of x. All these will now be f of x, okay? So all that means is that we're saying this is a function. Now, we'll get to the rules of a function in, in a few days. I'll, I'll tell you briefly today. Um, but essentially this, if I had, say, some y is equal to 2x minus 3, well, now I'm not going to say y. I'm going to say f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Okay, this is pronounced f of x, okay, meaning it is a function of x. It is what comes out when I plug in a number for x. It does not have to be f of x. We start with f and we go through the alphabet. It's f of x, and then if I said g of x, well, g of x is a different function. I'm going to call this negative 3x minus 2. These are two different functions. Now, what it allows us to do is differentiate between the two. Before, they were both y. Well, now I'm telling you this is one function, this is a different function, okay? And what we can do with the results is, of course, we can graph them, all right? Now, I don't want to get too far ahead, but again, no, it can be if you have more than one function, it doesn't have to be f of x, be g of x, h of x, um, j of x, we don't use i. Um, but again, if I wanted to say, hey, I'm plugging in 0, 1, and 2, I would say f of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 minus 3. Now, this is not multiplying. This is saying the function evaluated at 0. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 3 is 
negative three. So the function evaluated at zero is negative three, which again tells us a little more information in one piece than we did before. If this just said y is equal to negative three, well then what was x? Oh, good, x was zero. You had to go back into the equation to find it. If you're doing it this way, you know immediately I plugged in zero, I got out negative three. Right? Again, if I plugged in one, f of one is equal to two times one minus three, and f of one would equal, well, two times one is two minus three is going to be negative one. Okay? And again, we can still graph these, right? We can still have a little chart. It will still say x. We will still have x as, in, as input, 0, 1, 2, 3. And we will still be getting f of x is out, right? In this case, it was negative 3, negative 1, and I think it goes down negative 5, negative 7. So nothing has changed in that fun. So why is there a difference? Why didn't we just teach you this from the get-go? Um, there is a slight difference. Um, there are a couple things that you have to take into account. Um, I will give you one brief example today, um, just because I wanted to keep this as brief as possible. Okay. Um, there's one rule for functions. There's one rule for functions. Okay. For every one number I put in, for every x I put into the machine, there's two options. Either one number can come out. or no solution, okay? meaning there is no output. Okay. Now, again, so for us, that, that seems like, all right, no big deal. There's, there's an answer. There's not an answer. That's fine. Um, there is a couple things, okay? Now, what if I said, what's the square root of 9? Well, most of you guys would jump and say the square root is 3. But the square root of 9 can also be negative 3, right? Because 3 squared is equal to 9, but negative 3 squared is also equal to 9, okay? So this problem has two answers. That is not going to be an option with a function. For a function, you have one answer or you have no answers, okay? So why the change? Why go to f of x instead of y? Because there is a slight difference. Before we were dealing with these as equations, but now we're going to start talking about them as functions. Okay? So, again, real quick today, watch the other video. It's very funny. Um, but again, the big thing we want to learn about functions today is it's nothing new. It's inputs, it's outputs. The only difference is we're going to call them x and f of x. Okay? Um, x as a uh, f of x, we're going to have x as a function. Okay? So, again, no more y's, f of x is from now on. Okay, uh, and again, why? Because there needs to be an account for when there's more than one answer. Okay, and we'll talk about a couple of these examples a little bit later. Okay, um, so I hope this kind of give you a good instruction, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.